In this video, we're revealing how to make money with the Amazon affiliate program and how complete beginners are using this to earn $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so sign up for it now. All right guys, so check this out. This is a really weird website right here that literally makes money from the Amazon affiliate program. You can see exactly how this works where if you click on any one of these links right here and you go ahead and click on this weird, uh, whatever, deep exfoliating foot thing, it literally sends them to Amazon where they would literally go ahead and get a commission from it, right? And the crazy thing about this is they do about $20,000 per month with Amazon affiliate marketing, which is insane because when I first saw this, when I was a broke college student, said to me coming to dentist, I was like, are you serious? These people literally started making money promoting Amazon and they're just the front end and they don't have to do any shipping, they don't have to do any handling, they don't have to do customer service. It could be purely passive. Like think about the beauty of it. You literally could just go and partner with a company like Amazon. If someone clicks on one button, if they just buy anything on Amazon, you would literally get a commission from it. And I didn't realize how powerful this is until I go ahead and you know tried it, right? And there wasn't really much concepts that I understood until you know I figured all these out that I start making money with Amazon affiliate. The first step that I realized is you literally get paid whenever someone clicks on your link, even if they don't buy your product. For example, um, on my Amazon account, I would, for example, recommend my book, right? And I'd actually get an affiliate link to my own book but sometimes they wouldn't buy my book when I would go ahead and recommend the link. They would literally go ahead and see this book, see the color red, and they're like, oh my God, I wanna buy a grill. And just like that, you know, they would go ahead and like spend, like for example, $1,600 on a grill, and I would literally get paid money off of that when I have never made any content about grilling. That's why a lot of people like Amazon because if you just send traffic to Amazon, they're really good at making sales because everyone is always buying things on Amazon. It's an addiction, man. Like you're like, oh, I wanna just buy things from Amazon because I'm bored and you just buy it, right? Um, and that's what the power of Amazon is, is this site makes money not just when people go ahead and buy this thing, but whenever they buy anything from Amazon in a given period of time. When I realized that, I was like, okay, well, how can I go ahead and do this, right? The second step that I realized is you need to go ahead and sign up for the Amazon affiliate program. Right? If you go to affiliate forward slash program.amazon.com, you could literally get commissions by recommending products on Amazon. They have millions of products, as you can see, where you could literally just get, you know, for example, an affiliate code, where, for example, mine was the Mike Vestile affiliate code. If I go ahead and search for that, I could literally recommend my own book and get a specific affiliate link right here, where if anyone goes to this specific link, even if they don't buy my book, they go ahead and buy like some grill thing because they see the color red, I would still get credited for that. The third step that I need to realize is I gotta find what is a highly profitable niche so I don't waste my time. Now, one of the reasons why I stopped just promoting my book like crazy with affiliate links is because if someone's trying to buy a $12 product, odds are I'll probably get like several cents in commissions. That's really hard to build like a business where I'm making like $100 a day. When I was doing this method, I was maybe only making like $50 a month on this, and this was me like pushing it really, really hard. It wasn't until I started finding what was the high value, high quality uh, affiliate marketing niches that I could go ahead and focus on. One biggest thing was uh, luxury as well as like expensive hobbies. Like for example, like if I just type in GH5, that's this camera right now. Look at this, this is a $1,300 product. This is a $3,000 product, this is a $1,600 product. If someone buys through my link, I'm making several hundreds of dollars. This is why you see a lot of people like making YouTube videos about it like, oh my God, like look at me and my cameras and my setup. If you wanna check this out, get it from Amazon in the links below because they're making money off of it, right? Like if I literally come up to here and type in, for example, GH5 review, all of these people are making money from recommending this GH5. Like I kid you not, if I literally go to any one of these products right here, let's just do this one right here, 195 views, odds are this is like even in a different um, you know, language, right? Okay, this is in a different language because I'm in Bali. Let's check out this one. If we go over here and we just put it in the link in the description, you can see that they're actually sending us directly to amazon.com. Whenever someone goes to this specific link, 
they're literally getting affiliate cooking where if they buy this, they would get like several hundreds of dollars in commissions off it, right? So that's why you wanna pick a niche that has higher commissions because it's a lot easier. Like think about what your income goal is. Mine was $5,000 a month. I didn't care about making millions, but I was like, if I could just find a way to make $5,000 a month in affiliate marketing, I could literally pay off my student loan debt. I could pay off my credit card bills. I could help my mom and dad. I could start traveling, right? To get $5,000 a month, what would be easier? Getting 50 sales at $100 commissions or 500 sales at $10 commissions? The higher ticket ones always win, right? And that's why you know if you were just getting started, you wanna focus on the higher ticket commissions with your Amazon affiliate program, right? The next step is you gotta ask yourself, okay, well what content that I could find that are literally in the buyer's intent mind? Now there's two levels of awareness is when people buy. People that think they have a problem and people that know they have a problem and they're looking for a solution. Right, for example, on my blog articles, because we, we're like more of a long-term business, we are looking for people that are not necessarily looking for a solution right now. We just wanna give them content because they know they have a problem and they're just like shopping around for solutions, right? That's what we do on our blog articles, right? But there are literally some people that are like, I don't care what it is, I wanna buy now. The best decision, for example, here in Bali, where I interview all these successful people that live here, like this 11-year-old girl that turned out $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars a month profit. It's a very different concept when I type in how to make a cheeseburger in Bali compared to the best cheeseburger restaurant in Bali. One is like, okay, I'm curious to learn myself because maybe I'm just bored. The other one is like, I am hungry, I have money, please take my money. We want the latter to go ahead and you know create content for, right? And the best ways to do that are keywords like, for example, best. So when I type in the word, for example, best camera for, all of these things start popping up. Now what this means is these are all these people in the buyer's intent saying like, we wanna give you money now, just give us a review so that we could give you the money, right? So I would literally create content on my blog and my YouTube channel based off of all of these things. Anytime they say the word best, I would create something like that and recommend it to an Amazon affiliate program. Same thing you could do from Pinterest, right? If you don't wanna show yourself on camera, you could literally go and create a Pinterest account and uh, literally just type in, for example, the same thing, best, whatever. But if you go and click on search and type in best camera for, you could see all these things start popping up. This means people are also searching for it on Pinterest, right? So you can literally use some of these things and create like a post like this, best camera for Instagram, create a blog article that's like best camera for Instagram, 13 best cameras for Instagram, and then go and link your article on there and then promote that and each one of these things are literally affiliate links sent to you know products that you're recommending on Amazon. And the more you start doing this for like valuable products, like you could even do this for grilling because it's an expensive luxury product, you could start making some serious cash with that. The moment you start picking a really valuable niche, you likely you wanna double down on what are the most highly valuable keywords. Things like best, that works really well. You can even do verses like GH5 versus you know another camera, right? You can either make YouTube videos about it or you can make blog articles about it. It doesn't matter. The fact is you're focusing on these buyer intent keywords. Focus 80% of your time on these buyer intent keywords. What are people searching for that they're naturally gonna wanna buy your product? Like how I wanted to buy the best cheeseburger in Bali, people wanna buy the best camera for a specific problem that they have, right? This even works for essential oils, right? Like there's a lot of people here in Bali that are like, oh my God, I sell essential oils, like this is what you could do this for, right? And it's this weird phenomenon, but like you could type in best essential oil for, all of these things are problems that people have, meaning they want a solution now. If you could create a content based off of that and wrap it around that, the odds of you making sales a lot higher. The next step is you gotta focus on, you know, getting traffic sources. The traffic sources that we use if you don't wanna be on video is literally blogging and building our own website creating content around it, and using Pinterest to go ahead and post things on it, right? And you can see how much this works well for us. We're getting 97,000 monthly views to our Pinterest account. All we really use is we use Canva, which is free, and we use these ugly pins, and all we gotta do is we upload it onto Pinterest, and you can see how we're getting like 170 clicks on it, right? Um, and it's pretty simple. The other place that we use is YouTube. Obviously, you're watching this as a YouTube video, right? And we like using YouTube to send them to our blog articles, 
to you know our website, to our sales offers, because it also makes good money. Now, the only downside with Amazon affiliate marketing is the fact that it is lower commissions and you know it's a lot harder to make six or seven figures a year than other methods. That's why we ended up pivoting to higher, even higher commission products where we're getting hundreds of dollars per commission with multiple different sales process because it's just so much easier based off of the exact same work. Like the same amount of work that this guy's doing to make 20 grand you know, a month, and he's like one of the best, I'm literally not the best, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but with this method, in the past 30 days, we've netted 50 grand net. And the craziest thing with this new method, we've netted about 12 grand net in the past seven days. And like I said, I'm not the smartest person in the world. If I can do it, why can't you? And if you wanna know how our students are doing it and making $10 a day to $100 a day to $1,000 a day and more, then sign up for this week's free workshop. We have a 62 year old woman go from zero to $160,000 profit in 90 days. As well, check out my podcast of all these really successful people that live here in Bali. Like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars from profit. Check it out right here and right here. Hopefully, it helps you guys later. You.